Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will discuss about mathematical models of control system. In general, there are three types of mathematical models available with control system. First one is differential equation model. Second one is transfer function model. And third one is state space model. In this video, I will discuss about differential equation model and transfer function model. In next chapter of this video lecture series, I will explain state space model. See differential equation model and transfer function model that we can apply to mechanical system, that we can apply to electrical system, right? Here, for one example, albeit considering electrical network where we have RLC circuit, where we give input over here and output is taken across capacitor. So here I will be deriving differential equation model first. To derive differential equation model, let us consider one closed loop. So here we have a closed loop. And with this closed loop, let us assume current is I. So to derive differential equation, I will apply KVL in this loop. If you apply KVL in this loop, then here input voltage that is getting distributed across R, L and C. So one can say V in of T that will be voltage across resistance. Let us say that is VR plus voltage across inductance. Let us say that is VL plus voltage across capacitance. Voltage across capacitance is output voltage. So I'll note it as V naught of T. Now, what I'll do is I'll represent these voltages in form of current first. So, one should know resistance R that is having voltage that is VR. Here, through resistance R, current is I. So, one can say this VR that is I into R. Here, we have inductance. Through inductance, current is I. So, voltage across inductance. That has to be L di by dt and here we have voltage across capacitance that is V naught of t. Our agenda is to derive relation of output voltage and input voltage. So here I will consider V naught of t only otherwise voltage across capacitor that is 1 by C integration i dt right. So here as I have told you voltage across capacitor that is 1 by C integration I dt and through capacitor here current is I. So based on that we can identify value of current I. Current I is C into dv naught T by dt right and voltage is 1 by C integration I dt. So here current through capacitor is C dv naught by dt right. So what we can do is we can place this value of current I in this equation. So here now we will be having modified equation V in of T. Now that will be C I is C dV naught by dT. So here we will be having R into C dV naught T by dT. Here we have inductance L into C and here we have single differentiation of current with respect to time. So now in terms of voltage there will be double differentiation right and here we have V naught of T. See here we wanted to have differential equation in terms of input voltage and output voltage right. So here what we can do to simplify this further here I will be taking this differential term on this side where highest order that I'll write first. So LC into d square V naught T by dt square plus RC into dV naught T by dt plus V naught T that is equals to V in of T. So this is what differential equation which is there as per output voltage and input voltage relation. So this differential equation that explains differential equation model. So let us say this is equation A, then that is differential equation. 
Now I will be deriving transfer function. To derive transfer function, I need to apply Laplace transform to this differential equation. Right. And here, what we are doing is we are considering zero initial condition with R, L, and C. Right. So here to derive transfer function, let us apply Laplace transform to equation A. If you apply Laplace transform over here, then see we have LC that is constant and double differentiation with respect to time that will be S square into V naught of S. Right. So double differentiation Laplace transform is S square into V naught of S. And here we are ignoring initial condition. The reason is we are considering zero initial condition. Right. Now here, see we have RC that is constant and single differentiation that will be S into V naught of S. And here we have V naught of T in Laplace domain, it will be V naught of S. And here we have V in of T in Laplace domain, it will be V in of S. Now you can observe here we have Laplace domain equation and one should know transfer function that is output voltage divided by input voltage, right? So to get transfer function V naught of S that I'll take common divided by V in of S that will be transfer function, right? So on this side, we will be having one divided by LC into S square plus RC into S plus one, right? So this is our transfer function, right? If I say this is equation B, then equation B that is transfer function. See in my earlier videos, I have explained how to identify transfer function with block diagram reduction as well as with signal flow graph, right? But here, just to give you one example, I have explained how to identify transfer function. And one should know there are three types of modeling, which is there with mechanical system, differential equation, transfer function and state space. In next chapter, I will explain state space model. In this chapter, I will explain mathematical modeling of mechanical system. And that mechanical systems mathematical modeling that one can do in differential equation as well as in transfer function, right? So that we will be doing in future coming videos with this chapter only. I hope you have understood this. Thank you so much for watching this video.